today we all enjoy the benefits of science and technology, particularly that developed over the past 200 years. Tremendous forward strides have been taken in transportation, communications, material science, and manufacturing practices. The internal combustion engine has made cars, planes, and even space travel a reality. We can see and hear anyone, no matter where they might be, even on the moon. Sending and receiving terrestrial as well as extraterrestrial data is done without even a thought. Synthetics are stronger and more versatile and more durable than steel, wood, cotton, and other traditional materials. Furthermore, products are manufactured using techniques which make it possible for all of us to enjoy the benefits of the new technology. All of this did not happen by accident. It took visionary inventors working in a supportive environment. It is no coincidence that most of the inventions were developed right here in the United States. The freedoms which many of us take for granted made it possible for these inventors to innovate while our economic system of rewarding good ideas and hard work provided the motivation. In the program you are about to see, you will be introduced to one of the most important but perhaps least known inventors working during this exciting time of innovation. His name? Nikola Tesla. In order to give Tesla his due, Richard and Mary Ellen Mathias have personally accepted the challenge, with the help of friends and the Mid-American Museum, of giving Tesla the recognition he deserves. They have made it possible for the public to see the most powerful conical Tesla coil in the world. They also travel presenting exciting programs at schools demonstrating Tesla's inventions. Nikola Tesla was born in Croatia on July 9, 1856, and he came to the United States in 1884. Without Tesla's inventions, all of the advances in transportation, communication, and manufacturing mentioned before would not have been possible. For to give Tesla his due, and to inspire and motivate young people, retired power generation electrical engineer Richard Mathias and his wife Mary Ellen have made it possible to see this instrument named after Tesla, the Tesla coil. It has thrilled many visitors to the Hot Springs Mid-America Museum. Yes, I'm here with the electricity exhibit, and uh, we're going to show this to you in a couple different parts this morning. Joining me is Dick Mathias, and Dick was very instrumental in helping to get this exhibit brought here to the Mid-America Science Museum. And Dick, let me first start by asking you, why electricity? What got you interested in electricity? Okay, as a young man, uh, I lived in Southern California, and I used to frequent the uh, Griffith Park Observatory, which was up in the Hollywood Hills, and uh, that really enthralled me, and I decided to enter the field of electrical and electronic engineering. So at that time, I decided to build my first Tesla coil, did it for junior high school, and then later on, I decided I really would like to bring one just like that to this museum, and so this conical coil, which is the largest one in the United States right now, is the one my wife and I sponsored uh, for the Mid-America Science Museum. Now this Tesla, Tesla coil is we're going to generate up to about a million volts here in just a few minutes? Actually, this is a million and a half volts. Oh. The one in Griffith Park Observatory is one million volts. It was installed in 1936. This one is uh, about 30% larger than that. So in a minute, you'll see caged lightning at one and a half million volts, the largest in the United States, as I say. So it's going to be quite an exhibit. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and let you uh, fire this up. A million and a half volts. A million and a half volts, and uh, it was really invented by Nikola Tesla, a man that was really renowned for bringing forth the AC power that we use worldwide. Edison was bringing out DC, uh, Tesla was AC, and AC is what we use throughout the world today. So well, let, let me ask you real quickly, when school children are out here and are watching this, what's their reaction? What's the expression on their faces? First it's shock and then amazement, and it was like me when I uh, was about nine years old, the first time I saw one of these, and I was so enthralled by seeing it, I decided that was my career I wanted to pursue, so I ended up spending the rest of my 35 years at General Electric and Westinghouse working in electrical engineering. That's so, fantastic. Yeah, That's fantastic. Really exciting. So now his wife, Mary Ellen, has joined me as well. And Mary Ellen, let me start by asking you, this is something that your family, you all are able to share in together this whole love affair with electricity. Yes, that's right. And I'm inspired because I know the young people, we're all been given God-given gifts and talents, mm -hmm. and we want to inspire young people to, to 
steer them in their natural bent. And we're hoping that this will inspire in the field of science and electricity. And well, we go into schools and anyone that might be interested, and we have um, a Tesla coil and a Jacob's ladder. What practical applications can be attributed to the Tesla coil circuit design in today's world? To name just a few, television and computer monitors, which employ a cathode ray tube high voltage circuit, purification or scrubbing industrial and utility emissions, utilizing electrostatic precipitators, resulting in cleaner environments. Medical equipment, radar and radio, corona testing of high voltage transformers, and even the automobile, which utilizes a high voltage coil to produce the ignition firing power. This impressive list reflects on only a few of the over 600 patents credited to Nikola Tesla. In the end, Tesla was one of our greatest dreamers and great dreams have a way of becoming reality. If you can dream it, you can do it.